In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to choose the correct U and DV when you integrate by parts. When it comes to integration by parts and choosing your correct U and DV, follow these rules. First, you have to be able to integrate DV to get V. Often, you want your DU to be simpler than your U. Three, integrating V DU should be easier than the original to integrate. And four, you want to remember the acronym L-I-A-T-E, LIATE which tells you from left to right which functions get priority for becoming U. L stands for logarithmic functions. I stands for inverse trig. A stands for your typical algebra. T stands for your ordinary trig. And finally, the least priority is E, which stands for exponentials. So let's do some examples to practice what we just learned. Your task is to identify what your U will be and what your DV will be. Now of these two, given that it's a product, X would get your U value. So U would be assigned to X. Now the reason why is because secant is a trigonometric function. And since it's less priority than A, which is algebra, your DV will be secant squared. Now let's try the next one. Here we have algebra, and here we have exponentials. So once again, your u will be assigned to x, and your dv will be assigned to 3 to the power of x dx. And lastly, here we have a logarithmic function, and here we have an algebraic term. So therefore, your u will be x square rooted, or x to the power of 1 over 2, and your dv will be ln x dx. Let's do an example now where we will actually integrate a function by parts. And the example that we have is the following. Integrate x times sine x dx. Now we know what to assign our u. Our u will be x and our dv will be sine x dx. Now, I'll find the derivative of u. The derivative of u gives us du, and this becomes 1. du is equal to dx. And for dv, recall that dv over dx is equal to sine x. And if we integrate the following, we will end up with negative cosine x. Now another way to look at this, just before we proceed, is du over dx is equal to 1. So let's go ahead and substitute everything that we know into here. And it's important that you memorize this. So if you're integrating by parts, you're going to substitute your u and then your v value which was equal to negative cosine x. So I'm going to put the negative here, multiplied to cosine x, minus the integral of v. And our v is once again right there. So I'm going to put the integral of negative cosine x du. Now I'm just going to rearrange this just a little bit. I have these two negatives here, and that becomes negative x cosine x plus the integral of cosine x du. Now if you recall from previous videos, the integral of cosine x is equal to, if you guess sine x, you're correct. So negative x cosine x plus sine x, and then you want to end off with plus c since it's an indefinite integral. So there you have it. That is one example on how to integrate by parts and how to choose your correct U and DV. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at studyforce.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.